Alright guys, so as you can tell we got the base in just in time. I don't know if you can tell but it's raining. So if you went a little deeper right there, that's where the steps are gonna be. And then there's our base. Still gotta finish compacting it and add a little more rock, but we're getting there. All right guys, so we're back here on site day two. I wanna show you where we're at right now. Um, I haven't done the best job of uh, using this camera and show you guys exactly what's going on, but I'm gonna do my best to catch you up right here. So um, this is where we're at. We've got some pavers going down. I uh, just started this about 30, 45 minutes ago. You can't even see over there. Um, but we got the steps done. And those came out really nice. We're a few caps short here. Uh, but you can see there how nice that came out. And how uh, good the laser level helped us get this exact i don't know if you could have got any closer than that that one that right there is actually touching a little bit uh so it's about as close as it's gonna get and you can see there we are dead level so uh steps turned out really nice and like i said we're running pavers now so this is the only straight part Let's see if i can get this to focus here this is the only straight part of the whole walk coming off these steps and then as soon as it hits this corner it's curving which I started curving some pavers there just to kind of look that's not that's not the curve we're going with um, but that is uh, about where it's going to start curving and then all the way around it is non-stop curves so the easy part is over actually laying them is easy then we'll just have to come back and make our cuts so Pretty happy with how the, how the uh, stairs turned out though. We got smooth on the outside. Oop, I need to flip that cap over right there. But uh, happy with how the stairs turned out. Now uh, we'll get these pavers rolling. And as you guys can see, we use chat. Uh, or at least that's what it's called here. Um, what is it? I heard it called like 3 8 minus or something like that. I don't remember what, what the other term uh, of what it was called but this is basically what it is very small little rocks uh, we use this instead of sand so we put our three quarter yeah you can see the difference so down here where I'm pointing that's the three quarter clean that's the bigger stuff so that's about how big that stuff is you put that down compact the heck out of it and then you come back and put one inch of this stuff, the smaller stuff down, and then that's what your paper's set on. So, shouldn't have to worry about any sinking on this project. And then you've got, uh, you can see the divots here, that's where our screed rails were in there. So, you put in your three quarter clean, you compact it, you lay a pipe on there, and then you dump some of that smaller stuff in there. So, show you guys exactly how that looks here. Dumping that on there, you got your rails down on top of your three-quarter clean. Then you put your chat down, and then you use your handy dandy pave tool screeder right here. Nick will show you how that's done. First, 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 you level it out. Will it come along? So he'll go through and roughly level it out with the come along here, get it as close as he can, and then he'll come back with this big beast here. <laughs> if you saw a video the other day, um, I just had unboxed this thing, and Nick is going to show you exactly how it works. So then he'll go across and he'll drag that across the top of those pipes. And then we know 
we've got one inch of solid bedding material. Now look how fast she's doing that, guys. Before we're on our hands and knees with a 2x4 doing this, I'd say it's a little bit faster. And right here you can see he's trying to pull a lot of material, that's why he took that come along at the beginning and started spreading that around. It just makes it a lot faster if you get it close with uh, something smaller where you're pulling a lot less material like he's doing here. When you get that, uh, when you get that big screever bar, you're pulling a lot of material. So. Get the, uh, get the bulk of it out of your way, get it close, come back with this thing, and you're ready to rock and roll. So all of this is ready for pavers now. guys here we are day three again I'll catch you up like I did yesterday morning so this is what you saw at the end of the day yesterday we were uh, making these freehand cuts and that's what you got to do on these curves like this you got to just freehand your cuts and then go back and fix what you got to fix sometimes you have to touch up like right there I think you can see we made some other marks We'll have to come back and clean that up a little bit, but that is the quickest way that uh, we have found to make the curve cuts. So you try to make a little line if you can, then you freehand it, and then uh, what we did here is cut a board to our inlay size. And I know there's a lot of different ways to do this. There's a lot of tools that you can use to do this as well, but this is what uh, what I've always done. So. You make your freehand cut you get that all cleaned up and and taken out and then you hold we cut this board to the size of our inlay and then we just go along you can do it with one guy but it's easier with two guys one guy holds this up against this edge right here and just starts you know what i do is just hold it like this that's my hand and i get some of my hand down on the paver some of it on the wood there and i just keep it right there and just walk along and then someone on this side will be walking with you and they can take a pencil and make their mark and that's exactly what we did and then I went down and scored it with the saw and then after we do that we'll take them over one by one to the chop saw but uh, I've seen guys cut all the way through with your uh, demo saw or with like our steel handheld saw but uh, I've tried that and it doesn't work. I end up getting cuts um, on bricks that are in front of me or behind me that I don't want. Uh, so to get a clean cut, to get uh, good looking bricks along your edge, I prefer to take them out one at a time. Yeah, this takes a while. Um, probably took us, I would say, an hour, some somewhere along those lines yesterday to do that uh, first side. So it's gonna take us another hour here to get the other side done. But uh, after we get that done, all we gotta do is lay our uh, edging along there, which is gonna be the charcoal four by eight. And uh, yeah, should be looking good. We'll have to cut a few of those as well. Cut some angles to make these curves, but uh, nothing too difficult. So we'll get that done. And then we're also gonna be putting in some uh, new landscape rock. That way this rock will butt up to our new walk. So once we get the walk done, uh, well, first I guess we got to put in our edge restraint, which we're going to be using mortar. Uh, we're going to be using concrete, not the plastic edging. So we'll be getting the walk done, putting in our edge restraint, which like I says, mortar. We'll mix that up in a wheelbarrow. Then we will put down some uh, weed barrier, 
put in the new rock there's going to be no new plants just rock up to the new walk and then we'll have to put some topsoil on this outside and seed and straw that so that'll be a wrap for this one should be done by the end of the day Alright guys, so as you saw, we are working on the edging right now. Um, it's pretty simple, the way we do it. I'll give you a look real quick. So what we do is figure out the right angle, cut a bunch of those, and then just start plugging and playing. Put the big ones where you can, and put the cut ones where you have to. Alright guys, here we are. What do you think? Got poly sand going down. We are wrapped up. Got a few more things to touch up. Finish up this poly sand and add some topsoil on the outside, but we got our rock on the inside. And all the bricks are cut. Turned out pretty nice a lot of cuts those of you guys that don't know how this works you cut every single brick on the outside a lot of cuts but turned out really nice this is what a customer wanted they did not want a straight walkway they wanted some curves and some curves is exactly what they got so we'll finish it up and I'll touch base with you before we depart here all right guys, so this one turned into a day four. We got rained out yesterday, but we got back here this morning. I've only been here for a couple hours and we got her all wrapped up. What do you guys think? Super happy with the way this one turned out. Um, didn't do the best job of filming it. I was gonna try to do more of a how-to. That didn't work, but moral of the story, if you know how to lay a paver walkway, um, you've got all that stuff figured out. If you don't know how to lay a paver walkway, go back in some of our videos. We've got some how-tos. There's also a lot of other good ones on YouTube. So if you don't know how to lay a paver walkway, probably start with that but if you do know how and you're looking to get a little bit more advanced like this walkway is starting to get some curves and uh, a little bit of uniqueness to your projects uh, this is how you do it and that first curve just has to be freehand so there's not a there's not really a great way to do that um, but like we showed you there's a couple steps you can take to uh, to get somewhat of an accurate line but at some point you're just gonna have to go for it and once you get your first line cut then you can do some measuring and uh, make your second line a little bit easier but if you're doing a curved walkway like this, you're going to have a lot of cuts, so definitely plan for that and uh, just be patient. At the end of the day, it's, it's all how it turns out in the end. So if you're not patient, it's not going to turn out nice, and if you are, chances are yours will turn out just like this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.